It's only been a matter of a couple of days. He's a multi-dimensional performer. He's received uh, Tony Awards for his work as an actor in Seesaw and for directing last year's smash musical called Nine. Recently, he's returned to the Broadway stage in his new production called My One and Only. Now, let me tell you something. I went to see it the other night. I went to the preview two nights before it opened. And I want to tell you, I haven't had that feeling coming out of a theater in years. I never felt so good in my life. I just saw the most entertaining show I had seen in years with the most exciting performances, show-stopping numbers, the most beautiful sets, highly stylized Broadway show. It's really what Broadway is all about. It opened a couple of days ago. The New York Times is a rave, which means it will run, and that's good. Now, I would not ever tell you to go to a show that I didn't think was terrific because they cost a lot of money. If you got some bucks and you want, really want a great evening of entertainment, go see My One and Only. It also stars, other than the gentleman who's about to walk out here, it stars Twiggy, it stars Roscoe Lee Brown, and a man who's been called the world's greatest tap dancer, Mr. Charles Honey Coles. It's playing at the St. James Theater. You'll love it. Would you welcome the star of that show, Tommy Toon and Charles Honey Coles. <laughs> Honey in the middle and white bread on either side. Oh, no, no, no. Just, just call me Oreo in reverse. <laughs> you fellas have to be the most excited people in this town. You had the greatest opening, didn't you, Tommy? We did. Huh? It and was a was... great preview that you came to, though. When you came back, it made us feel so good. Well, you must know. He came back while we were still in previews. You know, in previews you don't know, and you know you're like this and getting ready for And you came back, and you were so well, I enthusiastic. It, I it gave us so much um, heart to It go was on. like seeing great theater again. Well, it really was heartening, though, because we know that you are a person who knows good show business when you see it, and I shouldn't we really it. felt good about it. Well, that, that is great show business. Thank you. The songs are by George and Ira Gershwin. I mean, you just can't miss with that show, and the two of you together. Well, thank you. How did it, it was a long time coming to Broadway. Uh, huh? It was really, it was really, we were supposed to start rehearsal four days ago, a year ago. I remember this is, well, never mind. A year and four days ago. Yes, we were supposed to start rehearsal, and of course we didn't, because uh, everything always is postponed. It's, it's real hard to get a show on these days, because every, you know, this cost five hundred dollars on Broadway. That's right. But three hundred dollars here. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been worth the delay. It was our actual opening was worth the delay. Right. Please believe. But me. those desperate hours you spend out of town working out all those problems. But then when you see it happen on opening yeah, night, oh, that's and that's there in the audience sits Sir Lawrence Olivier, huh? Oh, yes. that was thrilling. The king of show business. Yes, and I did a tap dance, uh, Shakespearean tap dance. There. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, he, he's a terrific hooker in that uh, movie, The Entertainer. Yeah. I told him opening night he how, good good, how much I liked his dancing. Yeah. Yeah. He was very, he's so wonderful. Is this a project you always wanted to do, Tommy? I've always, uh, since I worked with Twiggy 12 years ago on The Boyfriend, right. I've been looking for something that we could do together in some medium. At that point, she was afraid to do the stage. And then uh, about two years ago, this came up. And so I called her and I said, do you, would you ever entertain the idea of coming to Broadway in a show with me? And she said, sure, why not? I couldn't believe it because before, 10 years ago, she would, no, 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 I couldn't possibly do anything on stage. I'd be too nervous. Now she's out there, you know, what having a go every night. What a little performer she is. Oh, yes. It yes, is amazing. She's a great talent. Can People I ask a dumb that. question, Tommy? Where do you get your suits? <laughs> you are six feet what? Six? Six, six. six. six yeah. What's I, that feel I like? Have to have tap every... dancing. It's the strangest feeling in the world to me because I'm six two and a half and I've never worked with anybody before that I had to look up and say, What what's next? What's next? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get suits, Tom? I have to have everything made but my jockey shorts. <laughs> Nothing fits. Uh, this suit was designed by Ann Roth and made by Vincent, the wonderful man who who um, yes. uh, built the costumes for my one and only. Right. The number you're going to do right now stops the show cold. I wonder if it needs a setup. Do well, you need to tell at what moment you visit 
Honey Cole. Well, it's after I've lost Twiggy. She's gone away from me, and I go to, to Honey to um, Solve ask your him problem. what I should do. And yeah. we do this rather long number, which we're not doing tonight. But then I get up, and I start dancing crazily, and he says, N no. Cool it. Well, he's going against, against everything that I've advised him to do. He's right. going sort of crazy with the dancing, you know, and that's entirely out of line as far as my telling him about the approach to this lady, you know. Right. So uh, that's where we are. And that's morning. what you're about to see. Right. Tommy Toon oh. and Honey Cole for my one and only. From Broadway's newest big hit musical, my one and only Honey Cole and the star Tommy Two. <laughs> Tommy will be back day after tomorrow with Twiggy, and we'll be right back.
of the world's greatest prima ballerinas. Since coming to the United States in 1970, she's appeared as guest artist with every major dance company in the Western world. She's currently starring in the huge musical hit on Broadway, Rodgers and Hart's musical comedy, On Your Toes. It's at the uh, Virginia Theater. It's a giant hit. Here is the star. Would you welcome Natalia Makarova? <laughs> Right here. Yeah, oh, that's all right. On a talk show, that's fine if we see a little leg. As a, you are a. a the what? I said you have to pay for that. Oh. <laughs> How much is that? Uh, <laughs> whatever. Tickets, whatever. Yeah, a Broadway ticket. Sure. <laughs> uh, you're you're a classical a very, artist. Very classical. So this is an unusual departure, a musical comedy, on Broadway. Who got you involved? Uh, who, Mr. Balanchin, Ah, oh, the Mr. late Balanchin, my... Georgi Militonch. Ah. Is it a, a very different experience for you? It is, it is. It's a uh, lot of more fun than ballet. <laughs> Less discipline? Oh, no, not at all. More discipline? It's just more versatile. The what? Versatile. Oh, versatile. Aha. <laughs> You're doing very well with the English. I know how to... Uh, I've had difficulties with this V, V. You don't have V in Russia? Uh, different V. Vladivostok? <laughs> Vladivostok. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's sort of different. How did you learn? Did you go to a school or did uh, your friends teach you? Uh, no, no, I went... Uh, well, first, uh, first of all, I didn't speak English when I arrived in the country. Right. And then, two years, I didn't speak at all. I spoke French before. Uh. And, uh, uh, well, it comes uh, little by little, yeah. and my vocabulary gets better. Um, Till now, my son speaking, uh, he's five years old. He's speaking. Yeah, five year old son? Yes, he has more vocabulary than me. He, sometimes he will explain me what it means very ah. passionately. <laughs> and you hope he's right? <laughs> he's right, always right. right. Natalia, <laughs> what are your dreams in Russia as a little girl about future and life? Uh, oh, what are my dreams? I dream all the time. <laughs> um, what are my dreams? Make something exciting. Uh, Do you know about the Western world living there? Not at all. Who knows? To living there? <laughs> no. You really don't know not. about uh, America? Uh, well, later on, when I become to be a member of the company, we travel a lot in the West. So uh, I was introduced to the West. But not was, uh, when I was a child. Mm. You know, this iron curtain, you know that. Right. When I read about you, it seems that I can't tell where you live in America. You seem to live in New York. I'm international. You seem to have a, a home in San Francisco. And in London. And in London, right. Yes. Where are you happiest? Uh, I, where, where is the most interesting work? Now I'm happy here because I enjoy what I do now. Because the show is a great yes. success, right? <laughs> are you feeling well? You had a very... I lost weight, well, but you I have a, energy. You had a bad uh, accident. Oh, yes. Uh, it's uh, sort of shocked my system. And <laughs> it was bad. A light? Fell on you? Was it a, a big? Uh, no, two big pipes. You know, in Kennedy Center, iron pipes would hold the scenery. Came on my um, shoulder and my head, and I have uh, stitches here and a uh, fraction on shoulder blade. How long were you out with that? <laughs> it's true, I have a pain when I <laughs> start to remember that. Oh. Uh, uh, it was in the Christmas time. Ah, so you were out of the show for about two months. Mm-hmm. Ah. I was out of everything. Ah. Well, it is wonderful to have you on Broadway. You are a great artist. Thanks. And it's a fabulous show. Now, Natalia is soon going to be appearing in Roland Petit's Ballet du Marseille at the Metropolitan... Just that? Right. And we'll all get to see that, too. Thank you, Natalia. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> Natalia Makova. Makarova. Makarova. Okay. Thank you, Natalia. We'll be back. Thank <laughs> you.